Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with my monthly Project Pan 2020 updates. And I have all of my items that I'm trying to either pan or get rid of. So if you guys are interested in my first update, my progress within one month, then stay tuned. And if you haven't watched my intro, go back and watch it y'all. Okay, so I said I was going to do this month to month. And hopefully this isn't boring for you guys because I may not have like a lot of progress in some areas and a little in others. So like let's just go ahead and get started. Alright so this is my foundation that I'm trying to pan. This is the um, Maybelline Super Safe Full Coverage Foundation and I'm in this shade Warm Sun. I have it on today. And every time I um, record these videos, I'm going to try to have on the products that I'm trying to pan so I don't have to say that <laughs> every time. But I do have it on today. And I pretty much, because I had only used it one time before, maybe twice. So it was pretty much full, but I'm guessing that I'm about right here where you see this pink line. I'll do a close-up because you guys may not be able to see it. This is where the pink line is. So yeah, I'm, I believe that's where I am. So, um, a little bit. I probably used this like maybe four times within the whole month of January from the time I first recorded the intro to now. So within a whole month, I probably used it four times. So my goal is to try to use it more. It's full coverage. It's not my favorite. I don't really like full coverage foundations like that. So I already know this is not something I would buy again. It's just not my favorite, but I want to get rid of it. <clears throat> Next, we have this Estee Edit Beam Team, like, face primer. I guess you can say that's pretty much what I use it for or by itself. All right, so this line right here is where I started, and this is where I am now. I feel like I made pretty good progress with this, so I'm satisfied. It's still a lot to go, but, you know, that's decent progress for a month. And I didn't use this every day, but I used it probably the most out of all these products. Next, we have this CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation. And I told you guys that I used this just to clean up my brows because I don't like it as a foundation. I did scrape the edges and moved all of the product right here in the corner. So what you see right here is all that I have to get rid of. And it doesn't look like a, look like a lot, but and it's not. But when you're just using it for your brows... It may take a bit, so I'm just ready to get rid of this. This Tarte blush, I'm going to insert a picture. <laughs> I probably use this three times. I mean, the, the uh, print is still on this, so I'm not making good progress. I do have it on today. I probably, yeah, like I said, I probably use it three or four times. It's decent. I mean, I don't know. I guess I just need to do my makeup more. I haven't, I didn't really do my makeup that much. Next, something else that you'll see a picture of is this brow uh, powder. I feel like my whole, my pan has gotten a lot bigger. Remember, my goal is to use it up. I have like, the top of it is like uh, going down now as well. There's pan on the top. So I feel good with this progress. I pretty much use this every day and I have no problem using this every day. So I think this will be gone pretty fast. But I do feel that it's old because I have to use a lot of product because it doesn't show up. It's like not as pigmented as it used to be. It's kind of dry. So yeah, I really need to go ahead and use this up. And I'm not even going to worry about the other color. I'll just throw the rest away. All right. So we'll go ahead and get into the items that I have on my notepad. This is the Mali uh, Eye Shadow Stick in Copper Rose. Y'all, this is probably, I've really been enjoying this. This is where, how much I have left now. And the first line here, I'll probably take a close-up picture. So we started here and this is where I am now on the first update. I think that's really good progress. And I have enjoyed using this every bit. I actually have it on my face, my eyes today, and you guys can't tell. But, oops. I used it as a base for my other eyeshadow that... Oh, good gracious. I used this as a base for the other eyeshadow that I'm trying to hit pan on, I believe I said. And this is what this is looking like. I'll insert a picture. And this is in 24 karat. I love this. I have it on my eyes. Both of them. So what I do is I use this as a base. And then I pack this on top. And then using this as a base with this shadow. 
makes it look foiled it looks so pretty like now i don't even want to use this shadow alone without this i love it so just an idea if you're trying to get rid of like stick eyeshadows use it as a base for other eyeshadows to create your own color or your know, own finish of the the shadow so these two together makes this shadow look foiled and just beautiful it makes it pop stand out i really love it have it on my eyes today i've really been enjoying using this and i love to use this alone as well and i plan on pairing other shadows that's not even in my pan and put it on top of this to see how it looks so i'm excited about this and this has like been my favorite to use so far not gonna open this because once again i had to like push it down to um <clears throat> get it down and but yeah I made probably the most progress on this I started here and I'm here so yeah I'm making good progress with this but it's still a lot of products left like it's so much and I told you guys I have a backup of this I'm probably just gonna give it away to my little sister because I don't like it like I'm forcing myself to wear it which is not too bad because I just wear it around the house or when I feel like I want to put chapstick on but I don't like this at all. The color is not flattering to me. It does tingle. Like it feels a little minty or whatever. It has shimmer in it. Mm -mm. It's just not my favorite. So when I use this up, I'm done with this. I'm giving the backup away to my little sister. Hopefully she uses it. Next we have the Pore Stick by Essay Edits. Let me roll, roll this up, I guess. So that you guys can see, I probably use this maybe twice. I'm gonna be honest, like two or three times, not that many times at all. So this has probably the least amount of movement, or probably about the same as a Mali eye stick. I don't know, but um, the bottom line is where I really started, and this is the second line. So it didn't move that much at all. I used it probably two or three times like I said but when I did use it I like put put it all over my face I'm like I'm using this okay I'm about to use this up so maybe I shouldn't have but you know my foundation looked good that day so yeah now we have the wet and wild press powder this is something that I want to make a goal to use more of because I didn't use it that many times so you're probably not going to see something so like when I do it month to month this is to me what makes it boring products like this where you don't really see any progress you can't tell so yeah I don't know I didn't use it much my goal is to use it more going forward all right y'all so I forgot to show this in the video and I don't know how because you guys see I finally hit pan on this I am still going to keep it in the project just so I can get a little bit more pan and lastly the lip product that I have on I cannot tell how much I have in here so I'm just going to use keep using it I do have it on today with a different liner so it may look different from how it looks in my intro video so that's an idea I have if you're trying to use up lip products and it may be like a nude color switch it up pair different liners like a super brown liner a nude liner a pink liner a burgundy liner just pair different liners and it makes your lip product appear different put on different lip glosses on top of it as toppers so it doesn't look like you're wearing the same color every day if you're getting bored with wearing it so that's a tip for me so yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoy my progress if you are doing project pan direct me to your video i love watching them and seeing everybody's progress you motivate me to use items that's already in my makeup collection and stop being wasteful so <laughs> thank you all so much for watching thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it i will see y'all in my next video and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a video and i'll see y'all next time bye